Hey guys, it's Bloon here and today is another BTD6 video and today is going to be the new Lotus Island on Apocalypse with no monkey knowledge. I figured some of you might be having trouble with that to get your black border. So thought we could do a really easy strategy, no banana farms, no crazy movements, nothing like that. Just straightforward placements and knock that thing out. But before we jump into that, guys, you're probably wondering why I'm showing so much skin. Well, it's really, really, really hot here in SoCal, like 90s to 100s, like every day. It's ridiculous. And I finally got my balloon tank top in and i'm digging it i'm loving it it's real airy and bright but i definitely need to get out in the sun because i am whiter than a ghost right now but guys all that aside let's jump into this apocalypse lotus island no monkey knowledge <laughs> So this is how the new and improved Apocalypse starts, which is actually pretty daunting and pretty scary. And then on top of that thing just starts going hot and it's a little scary. And I'm like, what's going on here? So what you do is you just hit restart and that takes that away. I don't know if that was intended, but I'm gonna use it while we can so we can take a little breather here and see what we wanna do in the best placement. You don't wanna do anything too rash in the beginning because then you might lose in the end, right? Cause the Apocalypse just starts off at zero, goes to a hundred real quick. And I don't mean levels, I just mean like difficulty. It just gets real crazy. So we're gonna place our Oban right here. Now you guys can use whatever hero you want. He's not crucial to this strategy. He just costs exactly how much money I have. But if you guys have a monkey knowledge with cheaper hero or more starting cash, whatever it may be, definitely go with that. You can even start with like a, a military first if you have that monkey knowledge because then this guy will be like a hundred bucks or something like that. So do whatever it works guys. And then also before we get too far into this, definitely hit that like button if you like what you're watching. Uh, hit Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel because it does help out the channel and then also boost up that YouTube crazy algorithm. And then definitely check out the doubloon coffee because it's awesome and it actually tastes really good and I'm super stoked to have my own coffee. Like that's just super cool to me. So if you guys wanna check that out, definitely. And I'm sorry for all the self-promotion. I'm just super excited that this penguin I've been drawing for like, right? yeah. This penguin I've been drawing for like years is like on my shirts and coffee and the fact that I even have coffee, so cool to me. So check that stuff out. Let's keep going with this. And I'm going to throw a ninja down as soon as I can get the money. But as you know, with Apocalypse, you're not getting money each round anymore. You're just sitting here waiting for it, losing balloons, and you're like, oh, it's just reds, a little bit of greens, no big deal. Pink rush, pink rush, and level eight. And you're like, what's going on here? And so it just gets out of hand a little too quickly. That's why I thought maybe you guys might need this. If you don't, that's cool. Let me know below. And then also, guys, I will be streaming today at around 5 p.m., 7 p.m. Pacific. And today is Wednesday for me. So if you're in like New Zealand, Australia, it's gonna be like Thursday for you. But um, 7 p.m. Pacific, Wednesday or 5 p.m. I think I'm gonna do it a little earlier. I mean, what's holding me back, right? I'm just gonna get this video done in there for you guys. We'll work on some schoolwork today because I'm back in school. And then I'm gonna jump on the stream with you guys. And you guys should check it out because it's a lot of fun. And honestly, guys, I am super stoked that you guys are watching like those viewer challenges and the stream highlights of the race. Like it's just really cool to see that side like do well. I didn't expect the big turnout on the views for that to be honest because it's different. I thought you guys are all into the tutorials and just how to beat levels and stuff like that. So to see you guys just chilling with the videos about just, you know, kind of just for entertainment stuff is just really, really cool to me. So thank you guys so much for that turnout. You guys are awesome and you guys know you're awesome. So again, tonight I'll be there again. So if you guys want to just jump in and check it out. All right, and then next thing we're gonna do now that we have this ninja is we're going to get a ninja discipline and then sharp shurikens and seeking shurikens. And I'm gonna go the top path first just because it's a little stronger. And eventually we're gonna sell him to get a sub anyway. It's just I don't like starting with a sub because the hike from the $400 or around that $400 mark for the twin guns to like all the way to airburst is a lot of money. But if you can upgrade slowly with the ninja, like adding each upgrade is actually very helpful. So. I just prefer the ninja for a start other than the sub, but then the sub I think is better later. Well, that honestly depends too, because the hike from double shot to, you know, what is it called? Bloonjitsu is a lot more than the sub. So you're like, yeah, I don't even know what to do here. So, but anyways, we're going to start with this guy. We're going to buy this one and then we're going to upgrade. I'm going to throw down a um, bramble here just because I know that we're not going to be able to handle all these blacks and these yellows. This is going to get a little crazy here. We're gonna get sharp shurikens. And with Apocalypse, guys, the most thing I can recommend is just making sure you're paying attention to your money because you'll look up and sure enough, you have like way more money than you thought. Or what I find to happen a lot is that you really needed that upgrade right at that second and you let it go $50 over. That lost you like 20, 30 lives just because you let it climb up a little bit more money than you needed. So now we're gonna go seeking shurikens. Again, buy it as soon as you can. That's the only crazy part about this strategy. Let's use brambles because it looks like it's getting a little overwhelming as you can see stuff's getting through. 
but we do not care about the lives. We have a ton of them, guys, a ton of them. I know you guys aren't gonna lose that many, so don't worry about it. And we have this cool little thing here. So if you wanna stun them and then pop the rest, you can do that too. It doesn't really do much in my opinion, especially at the earlier levels because there's not much, you just don't have much popping power to take them all out anyway. And then they're constant rushes. So you're, yeah, you're stalling like seven balloons, but then these other balloons are coming in after you. So really not that big of a help, but hey, if you can get even a couple more lives saved, let's do it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get double shot for 850. After we get double shot, we're pretty much in the clear. Eh, not really, we're, we're almost in the clear, guys. As soon as we get our sub up, then we're in the clear. And then as soon as we get our nuke sub, we're super in the clear. Again, these pinks are gonna overwhelm us, so let's use that bramble, hopefully they won't. Um, we can't stun because we're out of stuns, but we seem to do just fine there, so there we go. And then also, guys, if you guys didn't notice, these things are named now. You can name your monkeys because of that new trophy in the update, and that is really, really, really cool, and I'm super excited about it. And then Siebs hit me up in Discord and said, hey, man, you should make it about, like, um, like competitions or staff members from Discord or, like, YouTube or Twitch honorable mentions. And so basically name it after you guys. So name each tower after you guys, and I thought that was a genius idea. I'm trying to go back and forth with them on what those ideas would be. So if you guys have any, let me know below. But that's just a really cool concept and I'm super excited to bring that to you guys if we can because like that'd be so cool just to see your guys name up there because you guys have been here the whole time. And my names are lame, like I put Jack Ryan. If you guys know what that's from, definitely let me know below. I thought I was being clever. So if you can figure it out, that'd be really cool. I know Mastodon Knots would, would know that one, but I haven't seen him in a few months. So I don't know if he'll if he'll see this video and see that. But uh, yeah, just let me know below if you guys know it. I'm such a dork. And I think I might've named one other one. Did I name the boat? Um, How do I do that? I guess I'll have to wait till we have that money. But I think I named him, if it saved it, I named him Dabloon, but not my Dabloon, like the actual Dabloon, like the coin. See, that's my cleverness. So we'll see what happens. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get twin guns for 450, and I'm gonna take a couple breaths here because I try to go, sometimes when I do these videos, it's the weirdest thing, guys, the weirdest thing. I'm gonna explain a little craziness here. So I don't know if you guys have ever had this experience, but so sometimes when I do my videos, just sometimes, just randomly, I like run out of breath. Like I can't keep up with it and I forget to breathe, right? But then there's other times that I am just fine. So it's like, it's such a weird thing. But like right now, I guess it's maybe because I, I don't know why. It's such a weird concept. But like today I'm like, <laughs> and I forget to breathe. But then other times it's like, ah, la, la, la. so it's what a weirdo. I don't know what's going on. But as long as we get this done, I guess. We're saving up for Ever Stars, by the way, if you guys didn't know. And the reason why is because we're going to turn this guy into a nuke sub. This is a beautiful spot for that nuke sub. I think it's called Blintonium Reactor. I think we used to call it Nuke Sub. I don't know. But we're going to get this one. And then with the bottom path, it's actually a lot better and a lot stronger and faster or just, just faster, which makes it stronger, whatever you want to say. But so what's really cool about that is now we can get this upgrade. And now he's a very viable tower on his own until we get that Blintonium Reactor. So before you just go top path and he's kind of weak because all he had is advanced intel. Now you have a reason to upgrade the bottom and make him a viable tower until you get that, which is really cool. So I'm gonna submerge him and then unsubmerge him just because I wanna keep a placeholder on how much money I need. And then we're going to sell the ninja. We just only needed him for the beginning to help us through, and now we do not. So as you can see, he sells for 1500, so we need $1,000 and then we can sell for the Bluntonium Reactor, and that's what we're gonna do. And then as soon as we get the Bluntonium Reactor, we're pretty much in a golden spot until we get to, I think, 44 when like 37 Moabs come out at once. Other than that, guys, this is going to be super simple. I told you no banana farms, nothing crazy. And from here on out, there's going to be nothing crazy. Just simple stuff. We're going to sell this the hardest micro you guys are going to have to do. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Okay, so you bought it or you sold it. You bought it. And then you turn it back to submerge. Make sure you go to submerge. Though. That is very, very important. Now, you're going to place this guy a little bit below your sub. And the reason why is because I just want to have good range of everything. So, like, maybe, like, right here because something might come up there eventually and we're gonna have another sub up there so then he can pop up there as well because as you guys know, he gets blocked off from this little bush and some other things here. But here in this spot, he has a very good like understanding of the map. So we're gonna go advanced intel first because he can see farther and I figure popping like at distances gets you more pops than just popping faster at one spot. I think maybe I'm wrong, but it's working, right? Now we're gonna get airburst darts, then we're going to get triple guns and then we're going to get, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's that one that we always get? We're going to get that one. So I'm going to skip ahead until we have the armor piercing darts. That's what I'm looking for. Armor piercing darts. I'm going to skip ahead to that. 
This guy's role is basically just going to be to pop the Moabs and to break everything down. And it gets a little weird because the Moabs start getting a little scary as far as where they go and stuff. So what's cool is that like this guy will be just enough that he can pop them all. You'll see, it's kind of a weird thing. Like you feel like you're gonna lose, but as long as we can get them broken in any range of this sub, we're gonna be chilling. And then we're eventually gonna have to get like a better one up here, another sub just to clean up our messes. But other than that guy, super easy stuff. I'm gonna get this destroyer first. Um, we're gonna go all the way to destroyer if we can. I was hoping before the first Moab, because what we're trying to do is just break them down. And like I said, this guy and then this future sub will clean everything else up. So we just need to break them down as much as we can. Oh, look, there you go, doubloon. And I'm pretty sure it's how you spell the coin, right? And so if you guys didn't know, that's why my name kind of originated, because my favorite tower in battles was the, the pirate monkey, or not battles, just the BTD5, whichever. And my favorite one was the pirate monkey. And he, ha you know, pirates have doubloons. And then we play bloons. So I made doubloons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, let's pop this guy here. Let's go grape shot, hot shot. Um, grape shot, hot shot. Sounds like that one song. What's that song called? Um, drop shot, something. I don't know. Something. It's a, it's a rap song. I don't really know that much. All right. So now that we got this guy popping and we got this guy popping and we got this guy cleaning out. What we're going to do is we're going to get this guy to plutonium reactor as well. And then we're going to get one more boat and then we won guys. It's that simple. It's really cool. Um, I didn't expect the pop lips to be this easy. That's why I'm not sure if you guys are actually going to need the help on this one. But if you do, that's really cool. And I'm glad I can help you. If you guys are just hanging out listening to me being a weirdo like usual, then that's also really cool too. So we'll see what we need. Now we're going to go this guy and put him here because we just want some more popping power. Um, we just need to clear out these Moabs, guys. That's what's going on. And so they got the band-aids on their little pufferfish heads. And if you guys didn't see the pufferfish before, super cool stuff. And I love it. Uh, I think the BFB pizza is still my favorite. But after the game kind of reset itself on me, I didn't buy them back. But now I do have enough money because of that race that I finally got in like the top 50 or whatever it was. I was, or not, not top. Was I top 50? No, top 10%. Was that what it was? Either way, I got more trophies. I have enough for the BFB pizza and it's really cool stuff. And this is more than enough to beat this. It's just up to you if you want to start buying more stuff. I would recommend more of these guys to pop the Moabs because then everything else underneath these guys can clear out. Like these two together are just fine. So I mean more of these guys are cool. Maybe up here too so you can get some extra cleaning power in case something does happen to slip through this guy. Um, just like that. And we're good to go. You can try to take this to 100. I don't think it'll work because I didn't prep ahead with you know banana farms and things like that. But who knows, guys, you can get a banana farm now, maybe get this guy up to a sub commander and just keep going with it. Because you guys know on Apocalypse, the money rolls in like crazy. Like you put this thing down, you throw a little guy next to it. Next thing you know, you have tons of money and it's really cool. Just throw one of these guys here. Boom, next thing you know, just popping in that money. Really cool stuff. Um, did we just beat it yet? No, we have to go to 61 for it to be, right? Because it doesn't tell you on Apocalypse either. Have you guys ever done that? So you're playing, you're looking around. Next thing you know, you're on level 65. You're like, I beat it. And then sure enough, you did beat it. So you're not going to get any recognition or a pat on the back for this one. It's just going to let you go. Keep going until you can't. But hey, look, this is actually pretty cool. And I think we're going to take 63 with this. And all we have are three boats, a sub. Are they going to clean it out? Yeah. See, there you go. Good stuff. All right, guys, I really hope you guys like this. Let me know if you took it to 100. Let me know if you know what my sub's name is and what it, what the value, or not value, what the concept of it is. That'd be kind of cool. And then also, guys, you guys are awesome. And I will hope to see you all on the stream tonight. I want a super huge turnout. Last stream was like 40 viewers the entire time, which is a new record. Um, we've had higher view counts, but not that like the entire time. And there we go. We only made six, seven, but not to have it that consistent. So super cool stuff. These streams are getting so much fun, especially with the challenges and the races and now Odyssey mode. I'm just super excited for it all. I really like turning those streams into videos because like I said, the streams are good turnouts, but not everyone can be there, whether it's work or school or not even knowing if there is a stream, you didn't even know it existed. Just a fun time. So I would like to turn those into videos so everyone gets a chance to see them. And the last two have been pretty successful. So thank you guys so much. Hopefully hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.